Chevy has recently released the 2025 order and pricing guide for the upcoming model year of the Chevy Equinox EV. And with it comes some pretty significant changes in terms of the trim level, how Chevy has packaged the vehicle altogether, some new features being added that were not available for 2024, as well as some differences in the availability of exterior paint colors. So essentially in this video, I'm gonna run through the 2025 Equinox EV order guide, tell you some of the new trim levels and how Chevy has changed the overall packaging from that of the launch 2024 model year, run through some of those new features that you will find on the 2025 and how to get them, as well as cover those exterior color differences, as well as the updated pricing, and compare them to the pricing of the outgoing 2024 model year, which you'll likely still find on your local dealership lot. So buckle up, stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot of helpful information here in this video, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the biggest news for the 2025 Equinox EV is going to be the availability of that 1LT trim level that pretty much everybody out on the internet, including Chevy themselves, announced at the launch of the Equinox EV. This is gonna be the one that comes in at $34,995, including destination, will be the most affordable, I think 315 mile range EV, as Chevy likes to put it, out there currently on the market. And uh, this did not come to fruition for 2024, but will be coming for the 2025 model year. Uh, we don't know if it'll be at start of production or later on in 2025, but it will be coming. It is listed here on the order guide. And essentially that is impacting the entire trim lineup for how Chevy has decided to package the vehicle. So with that availability of the most affordable LT, there's now just gonna be two different trim levels, essentially which you can pick from LT RS front wheel drive, and then they're gonna be option packages on each of those two, uh, which you can kind of equip as you see fit and uh, you know, essentially choose which option packages you want on both LT and RS. Now for 2024 Equinox EV, essentially uh, they came out with launch edition packages uh, on the RS, then they came out with two LT, three LT, two RS, three RS, uh, essentially, they were just more equipped and less equipped versions of each other. Then you had panoramic sunroof that you could add on some of them, super cruise functionality, and a bunch of you know just other odds and ends. And really, the packaging was a little bit confusing. So I think the way they're doing it for 2025 uh, with just having uh, LT front wheel drive, RS front wheel drive, and then choose your option packages from there uh, is much more traditional and simpler for the end user. So first, we're going to start out with the LT front wheel drive that I just mentioned. Then we'll move into the RS front wheel drive and then compare them uh, to how, you know, which packages are equivalent to that of 2024. So first up, we have the LT front wheel drive, the base one, $34,995. Essentially, that is gonna be a stripped down version of an LT. So it's gonna have cloth manual front seats. It still has adaptive cruise control, side blind zone assist, the standard lane keeping assist system, 17.7 inch infotainment system with wireless, uh, excuse me, no wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, but it will have Google integration. Uh, you'll have the 11 inch digital cluster behind the wheel, uh, urethane steering wheel. You won't even have heated seats. You won't have uh, heated side mirrors. You won't have roof rails. You will not get uh, a lot of the nicer amenities that you will find standard on a 2LT from 2024 in the previous model year. Uh, but like I said, it will still come with the same uh, 85 kilowatt hour battery pack, front wheel drive, um, and you know most of the same underlying or underpinning technology uh, for these Ultium platform EVs. So uh, essentially gonna be a pretty good bargain or bang for the buck if you don't need all those creature comforts and amenities, um, but does you know sacrifice a little bit in that department. So then from that base level LT, you're essentially gonna have uh, some convenience packages, some comfort packages, as well as some active safety packages. Now, the uh, next step up from a base LT, I guess will be active safety package two, and that includes the HD surround view camera system, uh, the rear pedestrian uh, alert, and I believe the traffic sign recognition. That is gonna be uh, $545 in terms of that package. Then moving up from there, you have the comfort package, which brings in a lot of the nicer amenities that, like I said, are going to be missing and stripped out from that base LT, including heated front seats, power driver seat with lumbar support, uh, and a couple other items as well, which I will have listed up on the screen. 
So that is gonna be $1,455, and that has to be combined with the active safety package too. So if you want comfort package, you do automatically have to uh, also get the active safety package too, which I just mentioned. Uh, for both those packages, the total MSRP will be $2,000. So not too bad in terms of overall pricing uh, for some of those features and amenities that you are getting. I think it will make the overall experience of the vehicle uh, for just $2,000 more, you know, a lot better for the average person out there. Now, next up from that, you have the convenience package one. Now, this is a pretty substantial uh, increase of $6,300 more than that $2,000 I just mentioned for a total increase over the base price of $8,300. But it is going to include a lot of nice features and options and amenities, uh, which you know is going to be very similar to that of the previous base model for 2024. Uh, in terms of a 2LT. So if you're kind of looking at a 2LT base model, 2024 Equinox EV uh, for 2025 convenience package one is gonna be the pretty much equivalent to that vehicle. And then from there on LT, you of course have convenience package two, which is $11,400 more than that of the base MSRP of 34,995. And that is gonna be the rough equivalent of a 3LT from 2024, which is actually the one that I filmed here on the channel and have a lot of experience with. So this is gonna be the heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats. You're gonna have the nicer exterior LED lighting. Uh, you're gonna, of course, have the Evotex seating surfaces, which also I think comes in convenience package one and some of those lower trim levels. Uh, but it is just gonna be the nicer experience or the most fully loaded uh, LT you can get outside of the uh, Active Safety Package 3, which starts to bring in that Super Cruise functionality. Um, but overall, that is going to be the rough trim level walk for an LT in 2025. Now, like I said, if you do want Super Cruise functionality, you can get uh, that as part of Active Safety Package 3. It does require, I believe, Convenience Package 1 or Convenience Package 2. And then you do have the separate availability of the panoramic power sunroof, which does have some limitations of convenience package one or convenience package two. So if you do want an LT Equinox EV, you have to, with a sunroof, you do have to get at least a convenience package one to be able to equip that for an additional $1,500. And then of course, e all wheel drive is gonna be, uh, from what it looks like, a standalone option by itself at $3,300. So that is gonna be the approximate trim walk of a LT 2025 model year Equinox EV. Now next, moving into the RS. This is gonna be somewhat simpler than that of an LT, given the RS starts at a more equipped model than that of an LT. So essentially it has a higher starting MSRP uh, but does come you know, uh, about halfway equipped versus that of an LT. So for example, the RS front wheel drive is gonna start at $44,795, including destination. And this is gonna be the equivalent of a convenience package one Equinox LT. So that is gonna be the base RS trim level, uh, which is gonna be fairly well equipped as a whole. And uh, you know, it provides a lot of the nicer feature and amenities that a lot of people are looking for in a vehicle like this, but uh, does obviously come at that higher price tag. Now from the base RS convenience package one, you have the option to go into convenience package two for $3,095. Now this is much cheaper than that of the 11,400 that I just quoted for the uh, LT version. And that's just because the uh, RS already has a lot of those features already standard on the vehicle. So they don't have to charge quite as much to give you the additional features that it does not have. From there, you have Active Safety Package 3, which is the Super Cruise functionality, $3,355. Then you have the new feature, which I mentioned, is the Power Package. This is actually the available uh, uh, quicker charging level two onboard charger, as well as the availability of export power on board the vehicle. So you get the 19.2 kilowatt onboard level two charger as well as the three kilowatt export power capable uh, part of the vehicle. So you can actually send power from the battery and use you know, a 120 volt outlet or whatever to power additional items outside of the vehicle. And this comes in at $1,295 including destination. But 
The biggest caveat of the power package is essentially you have to get a fully loaded RS vehicle to equip the power package. So this means you have to get convenience package two, active, active safety package three, you have to get a uh, E all wheel drive and you have to also equip the panoramic power sunroof, which means you have to spend over $56,000 to be able to equip the power package on the vehicle. So uh, essentially, if you're getting a fully loaded RS E all wheel drive, you can have the available option additionally for that 1295 for the power package, which to me is a great feature to have. And I think all EVs in general should have export power capability. And at least GM is offering that only on the RS, but only in its fully loaded form, which is a little bit of a bummer, but at least it is available. And that is gonna be new for 2025, not available on 2024 models. Now, one other item I quickly wanna mention is the dual level charge cord that was formerly standard included for every 2024 Equinox is no longer standard on any Equinox EV. So that will be a separate $295 option that you can get from the factory if you're interested in the dual level charge cord, uh, or of course you can purchase it after the fact from your local Chevy dealer. Uh, but just note that is no longer included in the MSRP and no longer included as standard equipment. Now, one other item I did wanna bring up is the color combination and paint availability. Now, uh, Chevy did introduce one exterior color and one exterior color from 2024 is no longer available. So the new color is going to be habanero orange and the outgoing color is going to be red hot. So red hot's no longer available on the Equinox EV and habanero orange is going to be available, but will have some limitations in terms of its availability. So looking at the order guide right now, taking a look at the color palette. So habanero orange will be an RS exclusive color as will iridescent pearl tricoat. That was formerly available on LT and RS, but now you can only get iridescent pearl on RS. And similarly, Summit White was available before across the board, and now Summit White will be an LT only white color. So essentially, if you're getting LT, you'll only be limited to Summit White, and if you're getting RS, you will be only limited to iridescent pearl if you do want a white exterior. Now going down the rest of the list, black, riptide blue, uh, we have uh, radiant red as well as sterling gray will be available on both LT and RS. And then we have galaxy gray metallic will be only on R uh, LT, excuse me, not available on RS. So that is pretty much the uh, exterior color changes, uh, just some uh, differences in availability of uh, you know similar colors as well as that new habanero orange, which will be very interesting to see. So now that you guys are, you know, more familiar with the trim lineup and overall color palette changes, now let's go ahead and get into the exact pricing differences and how it kind of stacks up to a 2024 if you are interested in a current 2024 or might be waiting uh, for a upcoming 2025. So starting out with the LT, I'm not gonna run through exactly every single you know, pricing for every uh, combination as that will be available on the build and price tool on Chevy's website, likely over the coming weeks, maybe month or so. Uh, that should be relatively shortly. They'll have the 2025 information updated on there. Uh, but I do want to cover the uh, 3LT, which is the one I actually uh, covered here on the channel in the Blazer EV versus Equinox EV video, as well as the uh, 2RS or the standard base RS from 2024 as well. So uh, essentially, if you're looking at a 3LT 2024 Equinox EV front wheel drive, this will come in at $45,295, including destination. Now for 2025, that exact same or as close as possible uh, 3LT or 2LT with convenience package two and the dual level charge cord will now run you $46,690. So this is nearly a $1,500 price increase over that of 2024 for you know the equivalent vehicle with that convenience package two and that dual level charge cord. Now moving over to the RS lineup, a standard 2RS front wheel drive, you know, base RS for 2024 came in at 44,000. $795. Now for 2025, the RS remains equivalent. Uh, so this is a base RS with the additional dual level charge cord will cost you $45,090. So as you can see right here, uh, the only difference there is now they're charging you for the dual level charge cord, but overall the MSRP does stay the exact same. So, uh, you know, you can see pricing has changed uh, depending on which package and trim level that you are looking at. 
a nearly $1,500 increase on a fully loaded LT is a little bit of a bummer in my opinion. Uh, but the fact that the RS stayed the same is, you know, kind of to be expected for a vehicle that is newer to the market like this one. Although it is a little bit of a shame that they are going to start charging you for that dual level charge cord, which I think a lot of people out there will use and find handy on a day to day basis. So that is going to be the rough equivalent there or just two examples of a 2024 vehicle to that of a 2025. Now, if you're looking at a fully loaded, maxed out, uh, you know, LT with panoramic sunroof, all wheel drive, convenience package two, uh, with super cruise functionality, this will come in just under $55,000, including destination, not including any additional uh, trailering package or extra cost paint color. And if you're looking at a fully loaded RS with the additional power package that I just mentioned earlier on in this video, with E all wheel drive, panel roof, uh, super cruise functionality, et cetera, this will come in just over $56,000, including destination. So really they're not too far apart in terms of you know their features and options on the fully loaded side of things. It's just gonna come down to which exterior and interior appearance and overall styling that you do prefer within the Equinox EV lineup. And really the pricing differential will be uh, you know very similar or very close to that $1,295 that they are charging for the power package. Uh, which is only available on a fully loaded RS, not available on a fully loaded LT. So that is pretty much going to do it here for this video and all the uh, information that I currently have available on the upcoming 2025 Equinox EV. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and or found something helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button below, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out some Equinox and Blazer EV content I have here on the channel or just the Ultium vehicles in general. I think that side-by-side -side comparison video was very helpful for anybody interested in either of the two vehicles. Show some of their similarities, show some of their differences, and overall direct you in the direction uh, that you might prefer with either one of the vehicles. I know this video was a little bit long, had a lot of information thrown at you guys. So if you guys have any additional questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them or direct you uh, to the location where you can find the answer to your question. Uh, but overall, uh, a little bit interesting that Chevy has changed up the 2025 Equinox EV lineup so much, given the vehicle did launch just you know partway through the 2024 model year. Uh, but it does seem that they've ironed out a lot of the production uh, issues that they had with the uh, Blazer EV at launch and the Equinox EV has rolled out in masses fairly quickly. And of course, we'll be adding that base model coming in under $35,000 for 2025, which I think was a vehicle that some people were certainly waiting for, uh, given they didn't want or need all of those additional features and options that came on a 2LT or uh, obviously just wanted that cheaper price point, which is you know significantly less than the starting MSRP of a base front wheel drive 2024 model, just because it did have a lot of those extra amenities, which again, some people did not want. So I think the Equinox EV, you know, in that uh, mid $30,000 price range up into the low $40,000 price range is gonna be very competitive for what you get. Uh, but obviously, uh, the closer you get to the upper $40,000 range over that $50,000 range, especially, you are obviously encroaching on Blazer EV pricing and, uh, you know, obviously other manufacturers vehicles as well. So it kind of broadens which vehicles you might be considering uh, for that money that you are spending. But anyways, I appreciate the continued support here on the channel. Make sure to check out some additional content coming. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.